Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Grim Reaper RC and today on the bench we have the RC 4 wheel drive K5 Blazer. This is the Rust Bucket Edition and we're going to be going through the upgrade series that we're going to be doing. This is going to be an awesome one. You guys are not going to want to miss it so make sure to stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and turn on the post notification buttons. You guys get notified whenever I upload a really cool video just like this one. Alright guys, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so on the bench here, we already have the somewhat previously upgraded K5 Blazer. This is by RC Four Wheel Drive again. This is the Rust Bucket Edition, and in the back here, you guys can see that we did do the CC Hand Roll Bar Upgrade, and this was drilled into the body itself. We ended up taking off the regular back cab on here because it just didn't look like right, so we ended up putting on the CC Hand Rear roll bar and we're going to be putting a spare tire on the back over here very shortly we're going to be doing some other upgrades to this very shortly we did put on a sticker in the back here just a scale california license plate now this is on mickey thompson aluminum rims which is pretty nice and we also do have the baja claw ttc tires tough truck competition tires which is pretty nice and they do have a very sticky kind of aggressive tread which I think we're going to keep them for a little bit even though I am not a fan of the angle of the drive shafts so I think I'm actually going to try to rotate these up as much as I can and I think I'm actually going to take one spring off of each suspension link that way it's just a little bit softer because this is extremely firm even back here I mean we can get it a little bit looser I have seen some tips and tricks especially in Facebook groups and they were saying to keep the tires off of it and put it in the back of your car that way when you're balancing on roads just that little bit of bumpiness will actually let the leaf springs absorb a little bit more so I think we will be doing that also inside of the box it does come with a upgraded uh, front grill which I think we will be installing the front grill but just the other one because it does have a different array pattern for the uh, grill path which is pretty cool now the front does open up on here which is absolutely insane it's very nice it's an awesome scale detail to have on the rc four-wheel drive uh k5 blazer and if we spin it around here you guys can see that the mirrors do move which is absolutely awesome the doors do not open but uh as i said and showed you guys before the rear tailgate does open now on the inside of here we do have like i said these are the leaf spring uh shocks on here and it is a little bit lifted these are 1.9 tires it does come with the uh 45 turn brushed motor on the inside but we will be changing that out to a hobby wing 1080 uh set up with the holmes hobby brushed motor which will be absolutely awesome now on the interior it is all black right now and we will be upgrading that we'll be putting in a few different scale details we'll be adding some lines and some painting and different things all over it which will be nice so we do have the chevrolet sticker on the back here i like how it's a little bit rusted out i think we're going to keep that on there now all right, so getting into the parts that we're going to be using, we do have the RC four wheel drive ultimate RC products, RC four wheel drive part number Z S one seven four nine Z. This is the RC four wheel drive VA engine cover with the metal intake set for the RJ transmission. And this is the V8 engine, as I just said, which will be pretty cool. We're going to be installing that onto the K5 blazer, which looks awesome. Then over here, we have the RC four wheel drive water pump for v8 scale engine this is the part number zs 1719a this is pretty cool we will be installing this again this is the water pump that will go on the engine we do have the light kit for the blazer this is led light set blazer body set part number ze 0084u and then we do have in the baja designs arc series light bar which we will be installing this is part number ze 0115 the officially licensed baja design arc series light bar is here made from top quality materials and featuring super bright leds rc foil drive has created another great accessory 
for your off-road vehicle designed to mount in a variety of locations the Baja Designs Arc Series light bar will light the way on your next nighttime adventure so this is the Baja Designs Arc light which is pretty cool we will be installing this onto there too and I think we're going to be rusting it up a little bit we'll be doing some skill paint details on everything so make sure you guys stay tuned for that that will be coming up very shortly i think we're going to start off with the engine details first as you guys can see there's a bunch of air filters and everything in here that will be coming up in the next video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that we did just go through a very uh, un we did a very scale unboxing video on this. We also did a bunch of different scale details of this compared to the Traxxas TRX4 Bronco, and we also compared it to the RC4 Wheel Drive 4 Runner Limited Edition, which is absolutely awesome. I think we're going to be comparing it to the RC4 Wheel Drive Long Wheel Based Toyota Tacoma build that we just did re pre uh, previously too, which is pretty cool, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that as well. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching Grim Reaper RC. That is basically it for today's video. And don't forget to stay tuned for the upgrade series on the K5 Blazer Rust Bucket. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notification button so you guys get notified whenever I upload a really cool video just like this one. Alright guys, that's it for Grim Reaper RC today.